It's 2.21 in the morning. I'm on daddy duty. He's been up since 1 a.m. Fed him once. Well, first of all, I changed him. Then I fed him. Then I had to change him again. Explain to everybody why you're awake right now. Because I don't understand. So I woke up at, no, it wasn't 1 a.m., it was 1.30. Got out here, changed him. Then I fed him. And then somebody had an accident. So we changed him again. And then we went back to the room. I put him down in his bassinet. And I crawled back into bed with Brett. Not even five minutes later, he is. <laughs> Somebody's still hungry. Ah, so I got back up. Came out here. Not only was he hungry, he made a mess again. Had to change another diaper. And while I was putting on the next diaper, he decided to open fire. And open the fire hose on me. Just as I was putting the new diaper on. So now the new diaper was... That's four diapers. Okay. Cleaned him up. Another new diaper. Put him. So far, so good. But judging by the faces he's making, I mean, we might have to change one more yet. So, morning did arrive. We made it through another night. Right now he's helping me put together some videos while his mom gets a nap. So I still gotta wrap up today's video, I guess, or yesterday's. Or did we include this in tomorrow's? All my days are running together. But he's helping me try to make them make sense to you in the vlogs. I hope we're doing a good job. Morning, Diesel. Oh, my. It's a beautiful schnout. So, we got our hospital bill in the mail from our uh, hospital stay, two nights, uh, C-section, uh, fetal assessment, two of them, actually, at St. Boniface. There, the one was the week before. Uh, all the blood work and triage. All my meds. All her meds. Everything involved. Two nights stay there in a private room. Uh, or semi-private, as they called it. Uh, you won't believe the size of this bill. $88. These healthcare costs are getting out of control. He's an expensive kid. $88. <laughs> Apparently they charge us for the room. Which is odd, right? Because Canada Healthcare covers everything else. They covered... Uh, the biggest thing, the C-section, which would have been a few thousand dollars. Uh, the triage, uh, all the blood tests, all the meds, the IVs, uh, two nights there. Well, apparently we had to pay for that. But they cover all of these costs. The what? Food. food. They fed me. Yeah, they fed her. They didn't feed me. I had to buy my own food. They gave us diapers. And diapers and everything else. Yeah. They let us take home a couple of receiving blankets to the dogs to get the scent into the house before we got here. All of these things was all covered by zero dollars. But when it comes down to the room, no, no, no. You gotta pay for that. They couldn't cover the $88. No. They'll <laughs> cover the thousands and thousands of other dollars. <laughs> so all of the taxes we've paid over our life, uh, we just cashed in on and we got it all back. And we left the hospital, other than this $88, we left there with a $0 bill. It does not cost anything to have a baby in Canada. I can't believe that other places around the world would actually charge you to bring another life and another taxpayer, if you want to look at it from the government's point of view, into this world. Lynn Boniface Hospital, hospital claim form. I'm just going to dip around here. $88. But, anyways, that aside, hello, another day is here. Theo is 10 days old today? Yes, 
10 days old today. And, fun fact, it's also my birthday today when I'm filming this. I am halfway to 70 years old. So I'm hoping to definitely not be working by the time I'm 70. So I got half my life behind me before I... I hope I'm retired before that. I would like to stop working in my 60s sometime, but I don't know if I can ever park the truck. That's that's a that's a worry for tomorrow, Josh. Like future Josh, way down the road, old elderly Josh, he can worry about that. I just got to plan ahead so that old elderly Josh in the future doesn't have a hard time. How's it going, Chevy? Is it gonna be a good day? You bet. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Theo. You little squirmy guy. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, did you kick off your blanket? Is that what's going on here? Oh, so much better. So much better. Look, you got Mr. Big Bird right there, keeping you company. See your friend? So right now we have it on the highest setting. I think Amazon is here. I was expecting an Amazon package today. Or it might just be the neighbors. This guy is unfazed by barking because the dogs were barking while he was in the womb. So he's used to it. Doesn't phase him at all, which is awesome. Troy was telling us too, we need to keep the house a little noisy. Oh yeah. Yeah, he doesn't care when the dogs bark or if we have music playing or TV on or we're laughing. Because if you care. if you keep it completely quiet. Then you gotta tiptoe around him the rest of his life whenever he's sleeping. Yeah. That's, that's not gonna happen. That's the way he'll sleep through anything. Yeah, he even sleeps through our vacuum. Yeah. Oh, the neighbors are there, right? No, somebody's just checking their mail, I think, or walking to check their mail. Yeah. Oh, no. What's going on? What's going on? We're right here. Daddy's right here. What? There you go. See? And all of Daddy's friends are right here, too. Oh, everyone loves you so much. Look at you. Look at you. Can you grab my finger? Sometimes he just grabs my finger in, like, a death grip with white knuckles. Yeah, you just have your... You have your hangout time here with Big Bird, okay? He'll he'll watch over you. He'll take care of you. Chevy, why are you barking? Who was there? Who was it? Was it scary? Did you scare him off? Were you being a good guard dog? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Protecting your Theo? You know when you do that, Diesel gets very wound up. So try not to uh, try to reduce the false alarms, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. Hey, Frank. I don't know what's going on. We're getting ready to take Theo on his first field trip. First adventure. His first adventure. We gotta get new light fixtures. We're going to Canadian Tire. We've been meaning to replace those for a long time already. We don't like the projector lights. They shine right in your face when you're trying to talk to someone or when you're trying to eat at the table. You got this light shining right in your face all the time. We're gonna go get some nicer fixtures. We need to get out of the house and Theo needs to go on his first little, first little adventure, like she said, to the man store. See what else we find while we're there. At least I'll be supervised this time. It's dangerous sending me to Canadian Tire unsupervised. I come home with many things that I didn't need. That, that I need, but that I didn't know I needed when I got there. This is the first outfit that you're going out outfit? Yeah, he's got a backup outfit too, just in case. Nice. Mom's got the whole mama bag ready to go. Yeah, this seems a little excessive for a quick shopping trip, but hey, gotta be prepared. It's Canadian Tire. You never know how long we'll be in there. That's, that's a very good point. But don't worry. He'll keep us accountable. I'm sure he will. He'll tell us when it's time to go home. I don't know. I'm bringing a bottle. I don't think he'll care when we go home. Diesel? Diesel? Have you been leaving your toys all over the place again? Hey, he's over here. Come get your frog. Come get your frog. Try not to leave him out in the middle, man. People step on him then. He could get hurt, people. Take him somewhere safe. Take your frog. I think he's good right there by the food bowl. I think he's hungry. Maybe you should feed him. Alright, well, that's where the frog will stay. You excited? Actually, yes. Get out of the house? Yeah. I haven't been out of the house in eight days. Although, all the days are so short because we have so much to do that it doesn't feel like eight days. Oh, are you mad at mom? 
Oh, hello. The record will show your first outing was to Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire. Possibly Walmart, too. We'll see. Oh. We'll see. We'll see how ambitious we feel. Let's see how the first store goes. Yeah. <laughs> Excited. So it's these things, right? We, we don't like them. I don't like them. Brett hates them. Yeah, I was telling them when like, you're sitting at the table and it's just shining right in your face. It's like you're being interrogated. That's exactly what I was just gonna say. <laughs> it's an interrogation every time you sit down for supper. What did you put in there? Did you cook it for the right amount of time? Is it fully cooked? That chicken How looks a little How much cheese wrong. did you use? <laughs> We've been looking for a new light fixture for in here too. Uh, we haven't been looking too hard. I mean, we'll find one yet eventually, but we want to find one that goes with the theme of the room, uh, like a Sesame Street one, right? Or a trucking one to go with Old Blue sitting up here. I think that'd be a little pretty fun. A fun light fixture. Sort of to match his fun light switch here. Oh yeah, it's just a fun room. One little snack before we go. Do you want a snack? A snack for the road? Okay. Someone's hungry. Okay, mom's got a bottle right here, buddy. Alright, we're delaying departure time. <laughs> this flight has been delayed, Chevy. I had a feeling this might happen. Good call, buddy. Come on, my little milk You need monster. a full stomach to go shopping. Never go shopping on an empty stomach. Yeah, it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's when you start going down the junk food aisles and buying everything you see. Wiener? How you doing? I need attention. Please, someone. And he has not been taking it well. Not at all. He's used to being on mommy's lap 24-7, pretty much. We warned him there's a baby coming and he'd have to take a step back for a little while. I don't think he realized exactly what we were talking about. Wiener is a very uh, devoted dog. Devoted to her. It's a one owner kind of dog and he is obsessed with her is how I call it. But uh, devoted I guess would be a nicer way of saying it. He really likes to be like within six inches of her at all times. <laughs> We're partners in crime. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, she's had him since he was a puppy and he's like 13 or 50 or something. He'll be 13 oh. in June. Yeah. 13 this year in June. Oh. All right, little man. Five point harness. You ready for the races? Oh, yeah, we're secure. All righty. Bundle him up. Walk him into the car. Then we have the matching stroller that we showed you in previous vlogs. Where well, this thing just hooks into that too. So it hooks into the car, the base seat, the base of the car seat in the car. And then it hooks into the stroller as well. Are we taking the stroller in or are we just putting it in a cart? I'd say I want to try out the stroller. Okay. We haven't tried out the stroller yet. Uh, we better put something down in the back then so that the gunk from the wheels doesn't get all over the felt in the back. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring that sheet along. Okay. Sounds good. Oh yeah, there's sheets already back there for the dogs just in case. Okay, perfect. Well, did we forget once again that we're in Steinbach? <laughs> that nobody likes to make money here? Closed. Can you read it on there? A little bit too blurry. They close at 6 p.m. on Saturdays. You know that one day of the week where nobody's really working and everyone wants to spend money? No, why would you have your store open then? You'll make too much money. Let's close down at 6 p.m. on the weekend. This town is a real problem with business hours and stores being open. Everybody wants to work the 9 to 5 premium shift, right? Nobody wants to work evenings and weekends. Because everybody's open 9 to 5, but everybody also works 9 to 5. So you're either working or you're shopping. But if you're not working, you can't go shopping because everything's closed. So what do you do? I guess you just save your money. This town, I think, loses a lot in their economy because of that. Mm -hmm. And everybody just goes to Winnipeg. Because I know that there's been many times where we've just gone to Winnipeg and spent our money there. We usually just take our business and our money to Winnipeg. Yeah. And all these businesses suffer. It used to be nothing in town was even open on Sundays. Very religious heritage and history in town here. No one would want them. It was actually illegal to have your business open on Sundays. Up until what? A couple of years ago? Yeah, just a couple of years ago. In like 2020 or something like that. 2019 yeah. or something. Yeah. So all of that lost revenue going to businesses in Winnipeg when this town could be growing like crazy, right? But we're not in charge. They're 
Bear loss. Bear loss. We just complain. We're not making the rules. So we're gonna go to Walmart instead. What do you think? Yeah, I guess we're uh, sporting the big wigs. Yeah, instead of giving our money to a nice Canadian company, literally Canadian Tire, we're gonna go give our money to some American billionaire. Not our fault. We tried. First trip to Walmart, buddy. He's very excited. Home. Very. <laughs> Feels good to get out though, eh? Oh, it's so nice to walk more than a few feet. Yeah. My legs. monster and I got excited. <laughs> the last time we were in this section we were just dreaming about having a baby I think. Well you were already pregnant. But... I was extremely uncomfortable I remember that. Yeah. He was way up in my ribs. We were dreaming about all the things we were gonna get you. Uh-huh. Hey little man. He likes to tilt his head over <laughs> like that when he's sleeping. Goes right back. You can get little things that go around his head that give him more support. We have them at home. We might try them out yet. But leaving the hospital, they wouldn't let us put it in there. We had to have the car seat, the factory. They advise against it. Yeah. We could do a rolled up receiving blankets. I know people do that. Mm -hmm. It's just my worry is what if they unroll and then they smother him. There's so many things that can go wrong. Yeah. Ah! Well? He slept the entire time. Success. Babe. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get much. We uh, didn't really know what to get because we came out for light fixtures and Canadian Tire let us down. Nobody else that's open has them, so. Yeah, Walmart didn't sell. I guess we gotta go to Dairy Queen now. This wasn't. Pr I like this new it's plan. It's your birthday. You gotta go it to is. Dairy Queen. It is my birthday. I deserve Dairy Queen. Yes, you do. Yeah, let's go to Dairy Queen. All right. I'm going with the classic Oreo Blizzard for my birthday. So good. It'll be so good. good. Theo, your first trip to Dairy Queen. I can't see you, but I'm sure you're smiling. He's still asleep. I mean he doesn't get any, but <laughs> he can he can watch how happy it makes us. And then one day he'll remember Dairy Queen makes he'll you happy. <laughs> That's true. Maybe it'll be sweeter. He is so good, buddy. So good. <laughs> Quiet and sleeping the whole time. Hey, the whole time. That's my favorite thing ever. That and when he raises his little eyebrows and then his forehead goes all crinkly like a little old man. I love that so much. What's your favorite thing? The newborn scrunch. Oh. When they bring their little knees up to their chest when you pick them up. They only do that for a little bit. How was your first trip, buddy? First Walmart experience. What's your review? How many stars? <laughs> they didn't have light fixtures, so two stars. Yeah, I guess we're stuck with these for another day. We're going to have to try and go out again tomorrow and get them. Yeah, well, I think we got company, like family coming tomorrow. That's right. So well, we may have to wait till Monday, but that's okay. We got Monday free. I think he really liked the fresh air. He's been so alert ever since. He's acting all goofy while I was trying to feed him. Yeah. Yeah, were you being goofy? Speaking of feeding our children. We haven't forgotten about you, fur children. Don't you worry. Frank, that's for you. Wiener, that's your heart pill in there because you have an enlarged heart. Wait, wait for it, wait for me to put it down. Let me put it down first. Okay, off to the races. Diesel, this one's for you because it has beef liver on top and you like the beef. 
Chevy's has chicken. This has some chicken on it too, but Diesel prefers the beef seasonings. Yes, 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 you. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you so much. So good. All right, Chevy, I'm sorry, you're last, man. Save the best for last, right? Here we go. One Chevy soup coming right up. Can you sit? How come no one else has to sit before they eat? Wait. Okay. Good boy. Because you're so good and you listen so well, I like to show you off. That's why. It's your turn soon. What? My turn for what? He's busy pooping. Oh, are you? <laughs> what you doing in there, buddy? Mom's cleaned up the last four. It's Daddy's turn. All right, birthday present. <laughs> I'm the poop collector. <laughs> <laughs>